welcome back to another new video with Taya Everything. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. My video today is going to go based on my prepping. I don't know that a lot of you know that I've started prepping. Um, it's not a hobby, but it's something important that I feel as a mother. Uh, I have to do and reasons why is many of us if not all of us are starting to see a lot going on in the world and inflation is just getting worse so with that being said I'm making another run to get some things that I feel is going to be great for my prepping um, I did get two, or no, two, no, three, absolutely three um, racks, which is great. And I got them from Walmart for like, a, there was some for 29 with uh, four shelves and five shelf. Uh, it's a five shelf rack for $39.95, I believe it was. And, um, you know, Walmart's, there's different types of sales or clearances you never know what you're going to find um so i prefer to go to my local walmart well i have to because i'm in the middle of two towns and so i will go to one in leland and then i will go to the one in southport um so um i'm going to make a run and i'm going to see what all is going on and what all I can get for good deals and I thought hey let's make a video of that and help you guys out and see if um, I can find some good deals that you guys might would like to say hey if there's plenty of it I'm gonna go you know get get a few things but let's go check it out because I am in dire need of a vacuum sealer which I have been want one forever but I haven't really really put a lot of thought into it I should have done this many moons ago and you should do it because it will keep a lot of your foods from going bad and spoiling and I'm just learning so much more about vacuum sealing not just in bags but in mason jars it's amazing and i cannot wait to get started so with that being said come on guys let's go let's go see what mama pain can find all right guys i have been seeing this sign every time i pass it lord i've got a speeder right on my butt she needs to chill the hell out because she is like come out of nowhere and is about to hit me in the back of my freaking car. What is your problem? Boy, she's lucky I'm in a good mood. So I'll tell you what, all I gotta do is put my brakes on, which I'm about to do because I was talking about this place. It's like a hole in the wall and they're having what they call like a warehouse um, sale where they got too much stuff. You better pay attention pay attention lady and I am going to go check it out and it's right here and I was told they have a massive amount of great deals up in here a lot of their stuff is from targets I'm not sure if they're closed open I have no idea but let me turn around because now I'm just not sure. Now that I want to come, it don't look like it's open. I see a lot of people and a lot of cars, but it's also a mechanic place too. Um, Y'all bear with me. Um, Yeah, I need to bring my car in here. This is my mechanic also. Um, I got some clicking in my steering wheel. It's getting concerning. And I'm not sure what's going on. Old man staring. Don't like that. I'm not going to bust up and break into the place. But okay, guys. Um, 
It looks like it was right here. Closed, open Saturday and Sunday. Oh crap, okay. But it was right there, Unit B of Highway 87 in Bowling Spring Lakes. Coming from South Port, it's before the Brunswick uh, Middle School and High School. And coming from Highway 17 from Boli uh, yeah, Bolivia, it's on uh, past Bowling Spring Lakes and past the high school. So, if you guys that are watching know me, that that's, that's the place. And I heard some awesome stuff about it. And now that I want to come, they're not open. Well... What do you know about that? But it is, it is a lot of stuff from Targets. I heard <clears throat> anywhere f or everything is from $2 to $5. So if you guys want to come out and check that out, I'll let them know that I gave them a shout out. I don't see their signs out anymore. So who knows? But, um, oh shoot, there goes that. <laughs> Hope I didn't ruin my tire. But anyway, let's go get going back to where I was going to go. But first, I gotta go and swing by the bank. Okay, guys, so I'm driving. I think there's a lot of idiots on the road today. And this is like a place where you don't see a lot of cars during this time. It's 11.13. And, okay, so I had that mad woman behind me just a few minutes ago before I turned into the place of the warehouse. And then I come out and I'm driving and this van is coming to my lane and staying on my lane. And I'm like, you're not passing anyone, so why, why are you on my lane? And I'm like, hello, what's up? What is up with you? Like, I don't have time for this shit. Yacht. You guys, seriously, I should do a video when I go out and you guys, I should bring you along. I don't know if that's a cop behind me or not. More my, yeah, just be my look. I get pulled over. So I'm not texting. I'm recording and I can do that because it's not hard. Um, yeah, I should bring you guys with me while I'm out and just record the shit that I literally have to deal with I mean I know you guys do too but it seems like a lot of it is uncalled for and necessary and yeah you guys need to see what the heck goes on when I'm driving I am a road rager and I don't I'm not gonna like lie about it and I will admit to it and yeah I'm a road rager because I have to deal with a lot of idiots so figure that one out. I know there are so many idiots out here. I don't know how the heck they have a driver's license. Seriously, I don't. So guys, check that out. At Go Gas in Southport, gas is at $4.05. And so it looks like gas is coming down a little bit. And I have heard reports on gas even being $3.88 in other parts of the state. So here comes one of my favorite places that I like to um, shop at, but I don't shop a lot at, but I love it. It's pretty pricey. Um, it's right here to my left. It is really, really cool. And uh, I love this place. All in bloom, it's called, in Southport. All right, guys, I am at the bank. Don't you see my face? Gotta get some money out. So I'll be right back. Okay, I see something going on across the street. I'm not sure if I'm interested in going and seeing what they got. It's so humid outside. It's supposed to get to like 91 degrees today, so I'm not sure that I want to go. I may not, I may go somewhere else. Alright, so I have just parked right here in the little downtown part of Southport and I decided that I wanted to go into this little type boutique thrift shop place and see what they have. 
I'm at Walmart and so I'm looking at these shelves which I call racks and this is the one I was getting they have one two three four five and these used to be this price $29.95 they went from $29.95 to $31 and now to $39.68 kind of makes me ill because then I have to go now from a five shelf to a four sh uh, shelf rack, but the four shelves are only twenty two sixty eight, so you're saving twelve thirty eight on a four. One two three four. So I got one just for now, and then we'll see later. So yeah, I got a good deal on the four, but come out not getting what I wanted. Okay, so I was over here at the food saver and every aisle i go to there's like people so i really just don't want to just stand there and record and they're just looking at me weird i don't know if i'm holding this i may be holding this the wrong way okay here we go so but okay the food uh, saver is basically the one everyone talks about getting i've got this one right here it doesn't really have a whole lot with it other than you just get some of the bags um, it's 89 I was want one with the, the food sealer and possibly um, other attachments I wanted the jar the mason jar um, food sealer but I guess I'm gonna have to order that online they had other ones at 199 and 169 and I would show you guys that but I have this couple who are just standing there in my way and won't move to save my life but anyways I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here at 89 and um, hopefully it works now I just got to get some uh, Ziploc bags because I heard that you could use those to do this all right guys i know i look crazy with my glasses but yeah so here's some more great deals check this out t-shirts for a dollar and this is the one in southport north carolina walmart and these are four but these are a dollar all sizes here we go not bad not bad can't go wrong with dollar t-shirts okay so look at my cart no I don't have money like that I had to literally go into my savings to be able to afford to get this and no YouTube does not pay me so I don't have it like that all right so let me go tackle other things that I'm looking for like Ziploc bags okay guys so I need the Ziploc bags to do my vacuum sealer and I'm looking at all the different types. I wouldn't get that because once you get the vacuum sealer going and you want to use this, you have to cut this off and you don't and you need these strips, but I wouldn't get that. And I would show you guys what I'm talking about when I start doing this the sealing on my food and prepping. But here you have these right here this is what you need right here and um, the best buy for me is to get 40 of these gallon bags for only 254 then you have them here 60 bags for 394 um then you have the quart uh quart freezer bags i think for 254 and you get 50 bags so i'm getting two packs of each one so it'll last me a good while and that is the best way to go and because you can use them from my understanding you can use them on your vacuum sealer so this is a great deal for me um yeah so next is foil foil paper which is going to keep going up in price so, which is the best one to get? You got 100, 150, um, and you got 50 for 332. 
and I'm just not sure what to go with but this has nothing to do with the video so let me go and find what I need and I'll be right back all right guys so I'm doing some extra shopping I think I better quit while I'm ahead this is going to be a very expensive trip this go round with Walmart um not to mention I didn't get everything I needed but I think I better quit while I'm ahead and not to mention I think my battery is going to go dead so I will catch everyone back at the house unless there's something crazy going on between here and on the way home but I will catch you guys back at the house so I made it back home and I took everything out went through the things that I bought today and I thank you and I'm glad that you guys came along with me. I hope this helps you guys um, want to start prepping. This, it is getting important to do so. Um, so yeah, this is what I got. And some other things like um, some oil from a lawnmower and a tarp for my compost box and things like that is why it added up to a pretty penny. That was pretty expensive little trip to Walmart. Okay, so yeah, I went ahead and got the food saver. I cannot wait to get this um, going. And um, I did get the four shelf rack or plastic sh uh, uh, I just call them shelves uh, or rack. And then I did get a good deal on these bags. And guys, these are three and a half gallon buckets. And these are made for storing food. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I am going to use that for sugar. I'm gonna be storing some sugar in this bucket. I thought you can do rice, sugar, beans, etc. And then of course, my jugs like these I'm going to store cat food dog food and then of course my other three big ones are to store water um so yeah this little trip was pretty expensive so but it is important and it was a good investment so here is my storage pantry and of course as you can see my cat lights jump up there and hang and i bought these at the dollar tree these little lights to put underneath um so as you can see there's a lot of things in here that i need to be us uh, um doing with my food saver and instead of leaving them in those containers which is not good of course your beans like this is not good because if you store them like that for a good long period of time it will get bugs and by you using a sealer a food sealer um it will just help all that go away it won't happen bugs will not come around it or you know hatch in it or what have you because a lot some of the stuff will be in my mason jars and some of the stuff will be in packages and bags with my ziplocs so this is my store pantry, and then I have what you call a working pantry. So this is the stuff that I get, and you know, and use every day, day on the daily, for you know. And it's I still have a lot of organizing to do because I just put this shelf in there, and this is the one I was telling you about. One, two, three, four, five, five, and um, the price just shot up. And then now I'm stuck not being able to get the five. Instead, I got the four. But I got the four for a good deal. So for 22 something, that wasn't bad at all. So with that being said, guys, I think I did pretty good. And the things that I went after, I didn't get everything I was looking for. They didn't have the mason jars I wanted. I guess I'll have to go... Um, to Southport, which is Southport, North Carolina, not, not Southport. What am I saying, Southport? I've got Southport on my mind. Shalote, Shalote, North Carolina. Some of you know where that is. 
and seeing if they got the jars at the Hobby Lobby or their Walmarts. Usually they have them. They have like all the different sizes. Um, and go from there. And then my next, um, my next uh, prepping trip will be for foods and getting more things together and prepping to store foods. So, also wanted to say, if you guys um, could get together and do a community uh, thing in on uh, your social media, like Facebook and what have you, and tell each other where all the sales are, where the good deals are, you should do that. Help one another out. It, that is like the best thing to do to help one one another. And like... For instance, when I run into a good deal, I'm going to post it. I'm going to tell everyone where the good deals are. Because, hey, whether we get it or not, somebody else is going to get it. And I would just rather it just be, you know, for those that need it. So, when I go food prepping or anything prepping, um, I go and I get little at a time. I don't go and buy it in bulk, bulk. You know, unless it's real cheap, then, you know, if I'm allowed, I will get, you know, um, not a lot, lot, but just, you know, enough. And I always, always think of others. Don't get me wrong. I always think of others because I know others need it too. Now, with that being said, um, I was going to say I did, however, go to Shalote, North Carolina, at, one, at the Walmart there and this was two weeks ago and they were having such a killer deal clearance deal and i want to do a video on that and that's called or i'm going to call it walmart my walmart haul you ladies want to stay tuned for that and that's coming up soon maybe midweek by weekend or next monday but it's still there there's still things there, so if you want to take advantage of it, I would do so. And about this time is usually a great time to go shopping for sales or clearances for next summer. You get the best deals. You cannot beat what I got. I cannot wait to show you guys that. Anyways, with that being said, thank you for joining me. And hanging out with me and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the post notifications so that when I upload a new video it's telling you hey mama pings on she's got a new video and don't forget to comment let me know what you think of my little trips to Walmart or you know wherever I go or things that I do here at the house and let's see what else Comment and share. I do appreciate it, but subscribe. Subscribe if you're new because I am trying to grow this channel even more and I need help growing my second channel, Exploring the Afterlife. And that channel, if you don't believe in the paranormal, if you don't believe in the spirit world, you have got to go onto that channel and check out what's going on on the videos that I'm doing. So, with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, stay positive, live a little, and don't forget to love yourself. Peace, guys. Love ya.